que um, <coughs> if you Luya and uh, good evening, uh, brethren. We are grateful to God uh, for his grace upon uh, all of us. Once again, we welcome you all and we thank you for your time. This evening, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, something which is very important when uh, he comes to converting people like winning soul for Christ, Jesus Christ. Winning uh, soul for Christ, Jesus, uh, is not an easy deal and uh, we need to be ready. We will try to tackle two scenarios in the Bible whereby uh, the main uh, tools for a Christian to win soul for Christ is uh, required. And uh, that was actually displayed. We are going to just touch two uh, scripture in the Bible. Um, we all remember that uh, Moses according to the Holy Scripture and especially in the book of Numbers, uh, work so hard and we all know. But unfortunately, according to what we see and what we know, uh, we can say that uh, he did not make it, even though God in his infinite mercy showed us uh, uh, on the month of transfiguration that uh, all was not lost. And uh, uh, taking it from the point A, uh, I would like to quickly show you uh, what was missing uh, in uh, the work of uh, Moses, which uh, prevented him of uh, stepping into the promised land. And that one happened in the book of Numbers whereby Moses uh, during all this period uh, was walking with the children of Israel and was leading them as the shepherd and then uh, 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 showing them the ways and then uh, uh, sacrifices many, many of his uh, time and strength for them to make it uh, to the promised land. But at the end of the day, something was missing. And that caused God to deny him of stepping on the promised land. And that one we can see it here in uh, the book of Numbers chapter 20 uh, as we check the verse 10. I will read before we talk about it. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said to them, Hear now, ye rebels. Must we fetch you water out of this rock? That was a question to them. And that question actually came from anger. Why? Because he showed them the way. He taught them about what God was expecting from them. But still, they were so difficult. And him, as a leader God put in charge to lead them, was not uh, a practicing the long suffering. So here is the word which came out now from my mouth. So that's the main tools. Someone, a Christian leader, evangelist, who is ready to win soul of Christ, has to have in his life if he's truly ready to win soul for Christ. The main ingredients, as I was saying, has to be long suffering. If you are not patient, which is a call to long suffering, there's no way for you to be able to win soul for Christ. Why? Because you will face some challenges. And if you are not ready and you are not prepared, you are not in the readiness, there's no way for you to make it. 
So that's what we see here. So Moses was uh, completely disturbed and he could not take it again. And that's why he threw that question to them. And he continued. And Moses uh, lifted up uh, his hand and uh, with his rod, he smote the rock uh, twice. And the water came out uh, abundantly. And the congregation drank and the beast also. And what do you see? He did what God asked him to do. But there's a way to do things. I always say this. You, the, 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 the way you approach something, like to execute, you execute your, your duty, your tax, does matter. It depends the way you go about it. You can come and do it with anger, or you can come and approach it very nicely and smoothly. So there's a character that there where we are trying to highlight here. So Moses did it, but he did not do it exactly as God commanded him to do. God said, just beat the rock once. But Moses, because he was in anger, did it twice. And what happened as we go down to verse 12? And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believe me not, To sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. So that's actually where the whole thing turns sour. Moses, despite all the sacrifices, his time at the end of the day, just wanting to turn the whole thing sour. And God prevented him of stepping into the promised land. So the mission was not accomplished. But this is not the time for us. We we'll call this for another time. What happens and how God in his infinite mercy showed grace to Moses. And that's the result we find on the Mount of Transfiguration. Whereby when uh, Jesus Christ uh, a call certain of uh, his uh, workers those who were working with him when uh, he called them to show them little bit of the glory of the end to them whereby they all gather and uh, some other people who were called back home they slept actually in the law they were not dead we don't say that for the christian so they were sleeping so that day According to the record, they were gone, their work was finished, and then they were called back home. They were sleeping. So on that amount of transfiguration, Jesus Christ showed them where those people who were called, where they were. And these uh, people, the workers which uh, Jesus called to come with him on that mount whereby he transfigured himself, they saw Moses among order in that glory. And that one is just a result of God's mercy. At the end of the day, they notice that Moses was not able to step on the promised land, but God did count all the work he performed for him, and that one caused him to enter the peace of the Lord. Now, there are things we need to check. Paul was talking to Timothy. He was saying to him that God, even though he was not a right, he was not perfect, God is always good for those who can hold on to him and use patience and long suffering. And the ones who hear the call, answer and say, yes, sir. That's very important. Do not deny and then put it back to another day. Once you hear the call, just answer and obey. Because God does not speak for someone to discount it. When God does speak, we just need to obey. So what happened after a, 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 a Paul actually was uh, um, 
like experience that encounter with Jesus right on his way to Damascus. And from that day on, his life changed completely. And he was saying something in the book of Timothy here, uh, in the chapter 1, actually, uh, taking it from the verse, uh, we are just going to take the verse 12. He says something, we are about to round up right now. He says something on the verse 12. He said, he gave thanks uh, unto the Father, which had made uh, us, me to be the particular of the agents of the saint. He's saying that uh, God is so merciful that even though he was a bad guy, he was not good at all according to the record, but what made him to become great before God was he take uh, his call seriously and he did not mess up again. He said here, I quote, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who had enabled me for that he counted me faithful, even putting me into the ministry. He was not good, but because he showed faithfulness and obedience, God put him into a ministry. And because of him today, we are reading many episodes and we learn about uh, a bad product who God can turn into good uh, product. So that's uh, what it is. Three things in life. If you want to conquer and be victorious as you are working with Jesus Christ in this world, three things we want to share with you tonight. You need to be patient, which is echo to long suffering. And if you can do that and pray, those two things bring you victory. So, brethren, main ingredients for someone who wants to win soul for Jesus Christ has to have what is called long suffering. And it is called also patient. Without that, there's no way for us to make it. Winning soul of Christ it calls a lot of sacrifices and it calls also long suffering. Moses was not... Uh, he, he, he did not display the long suffering and at the end of the day he was prevented of stepping on the promised land. So Christian evangelist, you who want to walk and win soul for Christ, make sure you develop that uh, aspect of all the gift which is long suffering. May the peace of the Lord be with us. God bless you.